Thousands of Idahoans are leaving money owed to them on the table and they don't even know about it. It's called unclaimed property and there's a national day to get people's attention about their unclaimed property. If you don't know what I'm talking about, Idaho State Treasurer Julie Ellsworth is here to help. Julie, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. It's nice to be here and I'm sorry I have to compete with the weather report. <laughs> Bree is but I have dollars for you. <laughs> yes, no, Bree Bree is very very good, but I know that this is super important too. A lot of people want to know about this. The biggest question we have, what is unclaimed property? Unclaimed, unclaimed property is essentially money. It's checking accounts that have been forgotten, savings savings accounts, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and utility refunds. If you've moved from one place to another and you didn't pick up your re utility refund, those kind of things just get lost and people don't know what to do with them. So if, if they've been dormant for a year, they send them to the treasurer's office and we hold on to them and try and find the owner, the rightful owner. Okay, you just gave us some examples, but what, tell us a little bit more. We talked earlier, uh, it's gonna be checking accounts, saving accounts, um, stocks, elaborate a little bit more what people should look out for. Well, stocks, bonds, and mutual funds, any of those types of things that you didn't claim. Um, another thing that people remit here are the items stored in safety deposit boxes. Hmm. Those, those kind of things get turned over to the state treasurer's office. In most every state, it's the state treasurer's office that maintains this unclaimed property division. And, you know, it's um, sometimes you have an inheritance through uh, uh, that you have not kept up on, but it's still there in your name because we go through the heirs process and prove who it belongs to. And, you know, there's just a lot of different accounts that exist out there, if you can imagine. And if they're forgotten, you know, what does a business do with those accounts? Right. They turn them over here. Right. Okay. Uh, is there a lot of unclaimed property in the state of Idaho? And I don't know if you have figures on this, but from people moving here as well that come to you guys and go, hey, help me out. Well, you know, of course I have figures on it. There's $207 million right now that we're holding in my office for people to come and claim, to check wow. their website yourmoney.idaho.gov. But you know, in the nation, there, is, there are billions of dollars. There is $2.87 billion nationally held by treasurers in every state. You know, we, we, we connect with each other and you can, if you come to our site, we can also direct you to a national site and find the states that you might have unclaimed property in. But yeah, there's a lot of money and I, invite everybody to check my website today. See if your name's on it. Yourmoney.idaho.gov. Yourmoney.idaho.gov. Write it down. Tomorrow is a national push. It's, it's sort of a national day to raise awareness about this, this collective effort. Uh, and you, you work with other states on this day as well. That's correct. And, you know, it's just a, like I say, there's a national organization. It's actually called the National Organization of Unclaimed Property Administrators, mm -hmm. rightfully titled. But this is just a chance for us to remind people all over the nation, check your unclaimed property. See, we've, we've provi provided tools for you to claim this. And we just wanna push it to those websites to, to get the money back to the rightful owners. Um, you know, this you forget things because there's sometimes an incorrect address, you've had a name change, there's been a divorce, a death, or you, you simply forgot it. There's lots of reasons and you'd be surprised to find out that you actually have unclaimed property here on, and you just go to my website and if your name's there, you can check them out. Yeah, you're right. Like you said, it is very surprising for a lot of people. All right, Idaho State Treasurer Julie Ellsworth, thank you so much for taking the time this afternoon. Thank you for your time. Please go to my website. Thanks. Okay, yes, and we'll, we'll send people over there on our website too, ktvb.com, we'll have a link.